Why hello, it's me Harley back again for yet another video and sorry I've been gone for a while. I thought because everything was going chaotic, if I had a bit of a break from YouTube, things would mellow out and I'd eventually be able to come back and join again. However, that has not happened. It doesn't look like it's happening anytime soon. So I give up. I'm starting to go back onto YouTube again, even if it exhausts me because... I don't know whether I'm coming, going, or what life's throwing at me. I mean, at the moment, it's just chaotic. So, I give up. I surrender. Okay, world, you've got me. Just continue throwing the random good and bad rubbish over that jazz at me. Because I'm getting both good things and bad things happening. And I can't cope. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what's happening. I'm going to be trying to upload twice a week again. So, if I look absolutely terrible in some videos, you'll know why. Because I feel terrible. And let's face it, even when I'm looking at my best, I still look pretty terrible. So, yeah. In the past, the vast majority of my videos, although not all, I have been looking my best. Surprisingly. that That's my best. That's the best I can do. So, be prepared for... Me at my worst as well, because <laughs> I'm not coping. <laughs> I don't think I'm coping in any way, shape or form. I thought things were going well and no, no, they're not. They're just going chaotic again. Some things are going well, but other things are going really frustratingly bad. <laughs> so, why am I dressed like this? I'm going to Cosby Air Show. In just a few minutes, I will do a video on it. Why aren't I dressed in one of my traditional 1940s style dresses? Very simple question answer to that. I only have two that kind of are actual 1940s dresses. The rest of them are modern and bright colours like this, but in the 1940s style. And I was planning on going in one of those dresses, but guess what? I'm so freaking fat now that I don't fit into my dresses. So I don't have a traditional style one and I am incredibly depressed because no matter how hard I try to lose weight, it never works. I've been pretty open in the past about my health and how terrible my health is. And I've also been pretty open about the fact that I've been trying to lose weight since I was 10 unsuccessfully every single time and I've also been open about the fact that quite a lot of those times my attempts haven't been the healthiest way to do things the ways I've tried oh sorry the cushion just moved so I kind of accidentally flashed you a bit sorry <laughs> but generally speaking I have done some very unhealthy things to try and lose weight in the past and since I stopped doing that, let's put it this way, since I stopped doing that, I have gained even more weight. And even though technically I'm on medication that should help me lose weight now, it's still not working. I have tried everything. I have done exercise. I have been eating healthy. I have been monitoring every single last thing that goes into what I've been eating, including the protein content, the sugar content, the fibre content, the vitamin bloody C content. I've been monitoring it all. And I have been eating about a thousand calories per day for a year now. Have I lost weight? Not on your nanny. I haven't lost any weight at all. Granted, I haven't gained any weight since I started having this medication, but it's not, it's not going down either. I am currently 12 and a half bloody stone. Yay! That's the heaviest I've ever been and I am not happy with it. So I am going to revert back to my old ways of doing absolutely terrible things to my body and this time I'm going to up the ante because stuff my health, stuff everything, I want to lose bloody weight. It doesn't work. No matter what I do, it doesn't work. I'm a kickboxer and a horse rider for Pete's sake. I also do other sports and things 
isn't... I just... It, it doesn't go anywhere. Nothing works. I know I eat healthy. I know I exercise. But... You wouldn't be able to tell because my body just likes to hold on to fat for, for grim life. And mm, it's driving me mad. I'm getting really itchy head now because I'm getting frustrated. So that's such fun. Other things that have been happening in my life is my dad gave us, well, me and my mum nearly... He nearly gave us a heart attack because he scared us so badly. I've been having job interview upon job interview, but not having much success at all. I've got a little bit of success, but <sighs> it's still not great. I am absolutely done. I'm, although I'm starting to make a bit of money now, I'm still by no means making enough money to make ends meet and pay my way. I know my mum and dad will support me no matter what, but I don't want to have to live off their support and their money. I want to earn my own money and I want to actually survive and not have to rely on them. But, yeah, I've managed to get a couple of jobs, but not enough to actually support that. <sighs> I'm now absolutely roasting, and I don't know why. I don't know why I'm so hot. My temperature control's gone. There is no reason why I should be this hot. And I know I'm het up and worked up and frustrated, but this is bloody ridiculous. It feels like it's middle of summer and for me, and it's, it, it's, it's not. It's now September. And in fact, I'm going to be uploading this video completely unedited, today so hence why it's an absolute carnage of a video i don't even know if i'm gonna make a thumbnail am i not who knows but <laughs> that's for future me to decide i don't know what's going on i don't know what to do 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 at least i've got my qualifications out of the way at least i've got the qualifications out of the way i've got my qualifications out of the way for the time being although i have got to try and do a test book myself in for a test tomorrow see i'm going on to a completely different rant now <sighs> oh yeah one other thing i'm also sleep deprived our new bloody labor i don't know what they're bloody doing they might be bloody growing marijuana in the conservatory for all i know but they're bloody lights they have got these super strong LED white lights that blaze across everywhere in the middle of the night. And even though I have blackout curtains, which are closed in my bedroom, it's still so bloody bright that it still lights up my room. So, although we've sent a letter over, they've completely ignored it. And I'm having to deal with what feels like an alien abduction happening in my room every single night without fail all night it's not even just like oh they're leaving it on until like one o'clock in the morning they're leaving it on throughout the night what are they doing they must be doing something weird because there is no reason for that they're, like nobody's in there all bloody night just staring at plants like go away i don't like you you may be our new neighbors but you are not leaving a good impression on me <laughs> I already hate them. I already hate them. It's great because my <laughs> my wick has burnt low. I am not. I haven't got much of this left. I am so done with everyone and everything. <sighs> so I'm going to wrap this up now and say to little Pippo Beans. As you can tell, I am just doing absolutely spiffing, darling. And I have no idea what the next video is going to be about. It's either going to be about um, Bella going out for her first big girl walk and going to the dog park for the first time. Or it's going to be the video that I've been meaning to upload for ages about me and my friends going to the Science Museum in London and... Oh, God. Something market. There's bloody market in London, and I don't know what it's called now. But, <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to wrap this up. Hopefully things will settle down. I doubt it, but hopefully they will. And I'll say two little pip or beans. And see you in the next video. Bye.